Hello and welcome to Clipping In. Saturday the 17th of August and I've got a feeling we're not in Yorkshire anymore. week continues the extravagance of a trip to Penrith and riding home super route uh, it's the about 107 108 miles taking in some fantastic back lanes around Appleby Kirby Stephen then entering the magnificent Malastang before heading then to the River Yore Wensleydale almost the halls Widdale, ah, oh, I can't tell you it all at once, it's just that good. The high ridge of the Pennines on the left there. We've got Crossfell, Great Dunfell, Knockfell, Micklefell. They're all up there. This back lane goes behind Appleby. It's the most scenic Appleby bypass. And from that point then, I'll be heading over towards Kirby Stephen. So far the route has been hugging the back lanes and the little shelves behind the uh, River Eden which goes Penrith, Appleby. And what we're heading towards now, that fantastic skyline, there's Wild Boar Fell to the right, on the other side is High Seat, Hugh Seat, that's the Malastang which is where the, uh, the River Eden has its origin. We can still see the High Pennines, Crossfell, Knockfell in that direction. And then this wonderful basin, this Eden Basin, amazing. And then the Pennines behind again, always the Pennines. entering the Malastang. It's fantastic the way it closes in. The, uh, the dale narrows and narrows. And the little infant River Eden there on the right. Right side of the valley. Later on we'll get a really good view of Wildbow Fell. Been hidden at the moment. That's its little grassy bodyguard. But this northern part of the Dales, they're sometimes called the Westmoreland Dales. Yorkshire is four or five miles away. North Yorkshire, of course. Now there's a better view of Wild Boar Fell with that definite point. Climbing from this side, you go up that shoulder to the nab as it's called with the crags. That's a great fell. Can't remember the height. About 2,300. Ah, 70. I'm going to say 70. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? You can see Pendragon Castle peeping through the trees there. The ruins of Pendragon Castle. I'll see if I can do a, a flip as we pass. There we are. Oh, right. I 
tried to break off there. I'll tell you about Pendragon Castle at another point. There's a sign saying road ahead closed, no access for pedestrians or cyclists. I really hope that's not true because it's a long way around the Malastang if this is blocked. Mm. Let's see. Well, it looks like a complete closure due to land slippage, which isn't good. We'll have to see, won't we? Well, it looks like the edge of the road has given up but there's nobody working so if you don't tell I won't tell <coughs> well there we are maybe I'll edit that part out <laughs> I'd be I'm guessing 20 odd miles out of the way Right, so this now, the Malasang is climbing up. If we look on the right, soon we're seeing parts of Wildbow Fell, parts of Swarthmore. The uh, Settle Carlisle Railway is up on that side too. That's a fantastic piece of engineering. Oh, and talking of engineers from this valley of the Malasang. Michael Faraday's family come from this area the father of electrical engineering the units, the standard units of capacitance Farads it's a wonderful, wonderful dale even with the occasional landslip. Looking back across to uh, Hugh Seat, High Seat and down the Malastang. And here, if you think this looks like a railway bridge, you'd be correct. This is the Settle Carlisle not far from Aysgill Summit. Climbing out of the Malastang like that, we've left the Eden Valley behind. But now, on my left, that side, is the Infant River Yore that then goes to form Wensleydale. I've mentioned before that the two rivers rise in almost the same swampy area. One flows out, like we said, Appleby, Penrith, Carlisle, Solway Firth, Irish Sea, and the other one, Wensleydale, goes out Halls, Ripon, and eventually out to York and the North Sea. Amazing. Railway just to the right there. We're now back in Yorkshire, North Yorkshire. Bye bye, Westmoreland, or well, Cumbria, I suppose, but Westmoreland sounds nicer. The only drawback with these linear rides, if you pick the wrong direction, You've got headwind <laughs> the entire distance, and that's today. It's a south southwesterly, and that happens to be the direction I'm riding to get home. Heading towards the Mocock Inn, you'll hopefully see that round the corner. Now, going back, oh, maybe 60 years or more, there was a railway line roughly where that white house is there, and it ran connecting with the, the main Settle Carlisle line, it ran to Hawes. Another fantastic bit of engineering. There's the Mocock Inn. This is on the main Hawes Sedbar Road.
approaching Apperset now, which is about a mile and a half from Hawes. I'll be turning sharp right, going under an old railway viaduct to come out on the Widdale Road. That puts me past Newby Head. Oh, the climb up Widdale. Murder. I like trying to ride through wet cement. Just the, the gradient plus the, uh, plus the headwind. Good grief. This road, more wide Dales expanse. Ingleborough there in the distance. This is the road taking us into Three Peaks country towards Ribblehead. One side, a little peep of Ribblehead viaduct. We'll catch that later. Ingleborough, and over there, Penny Ghent. Looking like a lion stretched out. Marvellous, isn't it? Three Peaks country. There's the viaduct. I think we nearly lost that in the 1980s. Scheduled for demolition and line closure. Coming into Hortley and Ribblesdale now. Good view up in again. Tight bridge coming up. I've ridden 63 miles. I'm heading for Rathmel, up there on the hill. You can see the church pub, church tower there. And I've, uh, I've just made a stop at, I was going to call it the co-op garage at Settle, but it's Asda now. I got um, a litre of extra liquid, a raisin and biscuit yorkie, and some jelly babies. All high tech stuff, should help to get me home. My legs gave out on that, um, I didn't film any of it, it was just so windy, up uh, Widdale to Newby Head, and they didn't really come back. And I've got another two and a half to three hours of uh, headwind, I think, to get home, so it's just going to be, just tick off the miles now, enjoy them and don't look at the speedo. <laughs> It's not been a bad haul though, I think when I get home this will be about 345 miles in seven days, which for me this year I've been so inconsistent, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. I mean, one big mileage week does nothing, but <laughs> at least I can still do it. <laughs> And enjoy it whilst I'm doing it. Two boxes ticked. Right, that wind is playing around with my steering again one-handed. So that, we're a little bit closer to Rathmel. On we go. Just past 80 miles ridden and I'm approaching Carlton. I think about 26 from here maybe 27 I'm just <laughs> thankfully the lanes have been nice and quiet so I'm just daydreaming along turning the pedals there's nothing in my legs but I'm just keeping going I won't be able to get away with that soon because the roads get busy around Keithley but it's fairly quiet hello Carlton in Craven. Just past the Raggles, and that means Queensbury is up there, and that's the last climb of the ride. Oh. Well, last but one. <laughs> oh, I've been in a bit of a daze these last few miles. Finally, the wind has switched from headwind to sidewind, and that feels like a victory. <laughs> nearly home just past 106 miles 
so it's going to be somewhere just short of 107 I think been uh, yeah, I've been a bit off it this last few miles but as I say nearly there that's the main thing so that's all for this edition of clipping in go on mate <laughs> I'm not getting too close to that I hope that wasn't a verdict on this edition of clipping in uh, yeah so that's all for this edition of clipping in I'll say goodbye for now see you next time back out on the Yorkshire or maybe even the Westmoreland roads Bye-bye.